Lauren. I'm 17 years old, I'm a senior in high school, and I live in Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> but none of that will matter if I'm dead. I spend most of my time in a part of the city where a teen is shot and killed every month. I want you to understand that we do not choose where we grow up. It is a small percentage of the people who are causing the violence. The majority of us are just trying to live our lives and finish school so that we can move away from the violence. My generation is killing themselves, and I'm embarrassed. I know the people who are causing this violence are really smart. They're just doing dumb things. But what I'm not embarrassed to say is that my generation needs more help. We need more guidance and more things for us to do to keep us off the streets, not for people to lock their doors on us. A couple months ago, I went to a high school football game where a fight broke out, where there was tasers thought to be used. So me and my friends ran to a nearby fast food restaurant, and before we could even put our feet on the concrete, the doors were locked. Where are we supposed to go? We didn't want to be in the danger. We ran to the restaurant to get out of the danger. But instead, we were forced to be in the danger. We needed help, and we needed safety. Fortunately, there are some places that understand what we teens are going through. They offer hope, safety, and help. One of these places that I go to every day after school is Q Kids Studio, where I'm the co-captain. Q Kids was created by Ms. Quisi in 1982 to keep kids off the street and out of violence. They teach young... <laughs> they teach young women like me how to become a great woman. They teach dance as well as basic etiquette, like how to carry yourself and how to conduct yourself in the business meeting and even the proper way to eat. When I came to Q Kids, I was only 12 years old. I was shy and I was afraid of the world. I used to get bullied a lot, so I was really afraid of people. For the six years I've been on Q Kid, I've become the young person that I am today. I'm loving, I'm confident, I'm outspoken, and I'm a professional. <laughs> All I knew in my world was violence. Now I know there's a great big world beyond this with endless opportunities. Not only has Q Kids molded me into the person that I am today, but it's exposed me to so many opportunities. I've co-starred as Maya in an all Q Kids cast movie called The Fits. This movie... <laughs> this movie went to the Fitness Film Festival and it won a lot of awards. I've gotten to travel all over the country, New York, California, Mississippi, and Atlanta, just to mention a few. We've even ran our own play called the Stop the Violence Play to promote peace, which was a free event we performed for the community. Some of the girls who came to Q Kids were labeled as bad kids, but when Ms. Quisa got a hold of them, she turned them around. Having a strict authority figure who cares about your actions, your grades, and just about you really changes a kid. It makes them believe in themselves. It makes them want to change and want more out of life. They want to make you proud and themselves proud as well. Even as I prepared for this talk, another 15-year-old teen was shot and killed, a close friend of my sister's. Having a group of people who come from all over the world to support us really helps us get through these terrible times. Next, you will be seeing Q Kids dance team performing a basic majorette dance, followed by a battle to represent our war against violence. <laughs> 